Most people don't realize that there are seven plastic categories. You can find this number at the bottom of pretty much any plastic product. It'll say number one through seven, and it basically tells you what type of plastic the product is made out of. The most common type of plastic is number five, polypropylene, also called polyprop for short. Polypropylene can be used in many applications. It can be used for food, cosmetics, different disposable containers like cups and things like that, as well as part of larger objects like electronics, furniture, even carpet or construction supplies. Polypropylene is extremely cheap and strong, which is why it's used for so many different applications. It also has a really high heat tolerance, which makes it great for automotive and machinery applications. For example, the aesthetic engine cover that you'll see on most modern cars is made out of polypropylene. Polypropylene is also not brittle, which means it's great for different hinges or mechanisms that may need to snap into place. At last, polypropylene is quite easy to recycle, similar to PET or HDPE. However, if you look at the stats, you'll see that PET or polyethylene terephthalate or HDPE, high density polyethylene, um, are recycled at about 30% rate, sometimes 25, 30%. Um, whereas polypropylene is recycled at a 2% rate. So the, obviously there's a huge discrepancy there. Now, why is that? Well, plastics like PET, often used for beverage containers, um, are recycled quite frequently. Reason being is most consumers want to recycle a beverage container like a pop bottle because they get a five cent reward back. However, polypropylene is used for a huge amount of, of a variety of plastics. For example, these headphones here have a plastic headband, right? This hard drive has a plastic housing. This uh, brick used for, you know, this charging brick has plastic on the around. All of this is polypropylene. Now, to separate this polypropylene, it's almost impossible to separate it and recycle it in an economic manner. This is one of the reasons why recycling polypropylene, the rate of recycling is so much lower just because it's extremely hard to do. Now polypropylene is also used for things like, you know, things that are simple, like these grip strips, which help you, you know, not slide around on slippery stairs. They're very easy, easy to recycle, but generally they're gonna be used out, outdoors. So they're gonna be used for a long period of time and stuff like this is gonna be thrown away. And then at last, like I said, we have little containers here that are also made out of polypropylene, which again, similar to the PET, are very easy to recycle. However, the infrastructure to recycle polypropylene is much less because of all the constraints like the headphones and, and the outdoor supplies. There's a lot less infrastructure to recycle it. Where something like pop bottles, it's easy to build infrastructure because the city's gonna know exactly what they're gonna get. So what does this mean? This means that although it has the potential to be recycled easily, it doesn't mean it's going to be, especially in, in all cities and countries around the world. In Vancouver, BC, we do recycle polypropylene, but that's not always the case. At Plascon Plastics, we often use polypropylene. Uh, however, we do try to use PCR, or post-consumer recycled material, as much as we can. Oftentimes, we'll blend our resin and offset that with different PCR materials, such as chrome rubber that we derive from old and used car tires. And by blending this resin with the polypropylene, you actually get a very affordable uh, container that can be recycled and, and is made out of recycled material. So that wraps up polypropylene. I hope you got a little bit of a better idea of what it can be used for and the flexibilities of it. If you have any questions on how to use PCR in your products, uh, hit us up at plasticonplastics.com. Also, if you wanna learn more about recycling and why recycling does and doesn't work, check out this video and uh, you'll learn everything you need to know about plastics and why recycling doesn't always work.